blinking. Okay, recording has started. So let me um, begin again. So this session will take about one hour. We have uh, 30 minutes for the presentation and then um, you can ask questions afterwards. And I uh, will share this um, recorded session on our channel, so including YouTube. So you can go back and watch uh, this session later. But uh, first of all, um, the applicants for this uh, grant will have to have a good level of English or have support from people with good level of English in order to ensure um, smooth communication of the program. Um, okay. Right. Uh, as mentioned, this uh, grant program is for artists, cultural professionals and creative practitioners. Uh, as well as art and cultural organizations, creative hubs, art hubs, networks and collectives, um, both in the UK and Southeast Asia. It is to support new connections, exchanges and collaborations. Uh, so these grants um, support UK and Southeast Asian countries applicants to work together collaboratively on digital face to face and hybrid artistic projects. So you can apply for this to work together um, in person or um, if you know you don't want to travel, you can do it online or you can do both. Um, that's fine. And we have two types of grants. So the first one is called collaboration grants. And you can apply up to eight thousand pounds for the collaboration grants. You don't need to apply for eight thousand, but um, you know, depending on how much you want to use, you can apply up to eight thousand. And the second type of grants is called scoping and research grants. So um, you can apply again up to two thousand pounds. And uh, this is for projects that will happen between November, December this year up until June 2023 next year. So they are all together about six months for you to complete the project. But if the project is shorter than six months, that's fine as well. You don't need to start right away you know, in November or December. It depends on what you want to do. And the application deadline is 23rd of October, 5 p.m. UK time. So that's the cut off time you need to submit the application before that. Uh, for the two types of grants I mentioned, uh, the, collaboration, the collaboration grant um, supports face to face and online digital networking and collaboration. Um, and it's open to applicants who have not yet received a, C a CTC grant. So any new applicants can apply for this type of grants. And then the second type of grant is scoping and research one. That one is open to new applicants and also to previous grantees who plan to explore new collaborations. So the second type of grant is kind of um, smaller in scope. You can um, apply to, let's say, um, to go to, to come to Thailand or to go to the UK, to talk to potential partners, to visit festivals, um, to do kind of primary research work, you know, in order to help you to prepare for new initiatives. And it's open for uh, individual artists, for cultural and arts professionals, creative practitioners, and also for organizations, networks, collectives based in the UK and in the, the Southeast Asian countries I mentioned. But um, for projects between Thailand and the UK, the lead applicant of this grant will have to be a Thai national. Uh, and then that person will have to nominate a UK counterpart. This is only because of um, our financial um, regulations. In Thailand, the British Council operates as a, a foundation and we can only give grants to Thai citizens. But in, in reality, you know, um, therein you can be you you can be the one running the program. It's just that the Thai counterpart will have to be the one receiving the grant in their account and will have to be the one signing the agreement with the British Council. And the grant is open to um, anything really uh, across art forms. So it could be performing arts, visual arts, literature, film, music, architecture, design, fashion, as well as um, cultural heritage and also in includes um, other disciplinary works as well. Uh, that these are just examples of projects that we have um, provided the grants um, to. So they are art residencies, exhibitions, performances and showcases 
webinars, archive publication research, digital toolkits, and mentoring sessions and conferences. But um, your your projects don't have to be these. You know, they can be in any forms. These are just examples of what you can do to um, get support from this grant. And uh, in terms of um, eligibility, uh, you have to complete the application form together with um, project budget and timeline uh, by the deadline mentioned on the 23rd. And uh, this has to be submitted on Submittable. So Submittable is a website, an external website that we use uh, to accept applications. And you have to create an account with Submittable in, it, in order to um, fill out a form. And then uh, for each application, it, uh, there must be at least one Thai applicant and one Southeast Asian or one Thai applicant uh, applying together. But it can be more because you can apply as a collective, as a network, as an, an organization as well. But if um, organizations are applying, they have to be registered in the UK and also in Thailand. I mean, I mean, you know, if, if the counterparts are organizations, they need to be legally registered. And the, pro the project um, should end by the end of June next year. Uh, in terms of who's not eligible to apply, academic institutions cannot apply unless um, lecturers or uh, the faculty members are applying. Um, on behalf of themselves, not on behalf of the universities. And also um, organizations within universities, for example, university museums can apply, um, but not the universities themselves. And um, funding bodies cannot apply. Southeast Asian nationals living outside of Southeast Asia cannot apply. So if you are a Thai, but you don't live in Thailand, you cannot apply for this. Likewise, if you are a UK individual uh, living outside of the UK, you cannot apply unless you only live here temporarily and uh, you still have permanent address in the UK and also pay tax to the UK. So if you fall under um, these uh, categories, then you can apply. And uh, this is not for people under 18 years old and we don't um, give grants to existing projects which are already receiving support from the British Council. Uh, in terms of um, using the grant, there are some costs that are not uh, eligible. For example, organizational overheads and general running costs like um, uh, electricity bills. <laughs> this this one cannot, um, you know, you, you cannot use our grant to support that. And also, um, you cannot use the grant to um, cover in-kind contributions. For example, if you receive free um, air, uh, air tickets or free venue, those cannot be costed. And uh, you cannot um, use this to cover VAT, uh, value added tax, where you can reclaim VAT. And also, this is not for the purchase of office equipment and consumables. It's OK to um, purchase uh, things that are required for the, the operation of the project. Uh, for example, if you are going to run an art, um, a visual arts um, project and you would need to buy canvas, you would need to buy paints, you know, those are OK. But in general, you cannot use this to buy telephone, for example. <laughs> And uh, in terms of selection, there are uh, altogether four, uh, four things that we consider. Uh, and each um, subject has equal uh, scores. So the first one is on partnership. The project has to demonstrate mutual and equal benefits for both the UK and Southeast Asian applicants, uh, which means that you know the uh, both counterparts um, are benefiting equally, mutually from this. And the second part in terms of project management, you need to show that a project is well planned, well resourced, and also uh, there is an equitable use of the budget between the two counterparts. So uh, in this case, the UK and the Thai applicants will need to have a, an equal split of um, uh, budget. 
in in the sense that if you pay for artistic fees, uh, both counterparts will be paid the same. You need to use the same daily rate. It's not that uh, you are based in the UK, you get more, or not that the Thai partner is um, working harder and they need to be paid more. This needs to be uh, equally shared. And then the third part is on relevance. So this uh, is about the impact of the project, how much the project addresses equality, diversity, inclusion, or environmental sustainability. So projects uh, which cover these uh, areas will have higher scores uh, from, from this. And then there's the last part is on quality. So the project has to be of high artistic and creative quality and also innovative in its approach. Uh, in terms of applying, first of all, you need to read the notes for applicants, which is um, on our website, on our CTC website, then speak to your collaborators <clears throat> and then think about how you work on your project and then plan time to complete the form because it takes time to complete and I think you should really plan ahead. Um, the form will be in English only. And always read uh, the guidance very carefully. If you have any questions, read the guidance again or um, talk to me or email um, the British Council uh, at the email address, which I will give afterwards. In terms of timeline, so the application, uh, the site will be closed on uh, 23rd of October. Uh, the scoring will be done uh, around um, late October to early November, and then we'll inform all applicants of the results uh, by the 21st of November. So if you uh, happen to be successful, you need to confirm that you want to receive the grant. And then after that, I uh, will contact you to um, make an, to have an agreement with you. So as mentioned, uh, a Thai counterpart will have to be the one signing this agreement with the British Council. The payment will be paid through um, a bank account and will be done 30 days following the receipt of invoice. Um, and after that, we'll, we'll run an orientation session covering all requirements for the delivery of the project around the end of the year. Uh, and in terms of monitoring, so during the grant period from December up until June, uh, we'll be in touch uh, with you uh, for support and also to have updates on the project. Uh, as a requirement, once uh, the project is done, the grantee needs to present um, the project to the public and also to the stakeholders. So this will have to be arranged uh, and also um, coordinated with the British Council staff uh, so that we know, you know, when this will happen and who will be the audience. And then in terms of project completion, uh, the project will need to finish uh, by the end of June and the project and report will have to be submitted by the grantee. So if you are successful, we'll provide all the um, uh, documents, you know, the, the reporting template that you will need to complete. Uh, if you currently don't have any counterparts in the region, the British Council is able to provide you some support. We could be giving you some recommendations where we have the knowledge of, but otherwise um, it's your own responsibility to find your own counterparts. And it's you know, if you need um, our referral, uh, we can also provide like a letter or an email, um, but we cannot look actively for a partner for you. And um, if you already have a counterpart, then you might want to <clears throat> consider whether you have time to work together regularly throughout a project period, whether you share the same values and way of working. And um, if you have any problems working as a team, uh, please contact the British Council staff, uh, you know, on anything, including risks uh, and issues with your timeline budget, working with your partner or stakeholders, and then we can look for a way to solve the problems together. In terms of using submittable, um, you need to use the link that is provided uh, on the notes for applicants on the CTC page. So uh, please visit uh, the website again and um, yeah, apply through that link. And uh, first of all, as mentioned, you need to create a free submittable account. Um, for past grantees, you can use the same um, account that you already created. 
you don't need to um, come up with a new one. And if there are any concerns, um, please contact CTC at BritishCouncil.org or um, check with the help page uh, of Submittable yourself. And um, when, submit, when submitting your application, you need to tick a box to give us consent to use and share your information and to keep your information for the purposes of the grant application during the duration of the grant. So we are not keeping your info um, forever. It's just uh, until the end of June. And uh, when you prepare for the application, um, please ensure that you have the contact details ready of yourself and your counterparts. In the past, we had applications um, which was uh, which were not complete, you know, uh, in terms of contact details, and we were not able to assess the application because of this. Uh, also, we need your CVs, portfolio links, letters of support from your counterpart and other relevant documents. So please prepare these um, beforehand because they take time. And when you um, complete the form on Submittable, you can uh, save your draft as you go along. But once you hit the Submit button, you cannot change anything else. So please make sure that all details are correct before you submit. And then again, you know, it's worth uh, reviewing the criteria before submitting, uh, making sure that you include details on what you want to do, how, why, what, when, with whom, um, and especially looking at what's innovative about your project, what's unique about your project, because this will make your project stand out. And then look at the short term and long term impacts of your project, including the points that I mentioned about um, equality, diversity, inclusion, and also environmental sustainability, which will give you added voice. Um, and for submitting your budget and timeline, there will be um, you will have to submit these as um, separate files on uh, submittable as um, spreadsheets, and uh, all the estimates will have to be in um, pounds in great in great British pounds. So um, yeah, please please make sure that um, it's it's submitted that way. Um, another point to consider is on the reach of your project. So if you are successful, we are going to ask you to record your reach, you know, in terms of who your audiences are, how many of them, you know, how do you reach them? So it's good to kind of think ahead about who your target audience will be for both your online and offline activities. And uh, whether you are going to have audiences actually, or whether you will have participants aside from your project team. And uh, if you will have external audiences or participants, how many of them and how are you going to reach them? Which platforms you'll be using? There are different um, online platforms that you could use, like websites for writing or blogging, virtual exhibition rooms, archiving, live streaming, or social media platforms or online collaboration platforms like Zoom or Teams. But um, having said that, not all projects will have public audiences or participants. So if you don't have them, you don't need to invent them or include them. Yeah, just um, submit as um, it is. Uh, and lastly, we encourage uh, applications from people from various backgrounds, you know, including people with, dis with disability or um, limited uh, English uh, proficiency. So if um, you have access need or you need access support, please also um, include that in your application application. There'll be a box for you that you can tick uh, to say whether you need a translator, interpreter or any tools or support worker to help you with carrying out a project. And we would like to ensure that um, your applications, um, you know, that, that you are able to complete the application. Um, and also, uh, if you are successful, you need to be aware of the British Council policies uh, around child protection, working with vulnerable adults, EDI, ethics and research governance and data protection. So, uh, in fact, these policies are outlined in the notes for applicants in the appendix. So you can go and read them uh, or uh, wait for the orientation where we will also give you details of uh, these policies. 
And these are just some examples of the projects that um, happened in 2019 and 2020. The first one is a project um, in Malaysia. This was no, not exactly in Malaysia because this happened um, during COVID, I think. Uh, um, but it was by a performance artist, poet and teacher, Elaine Foster from London, but she was also working in Kuala Lumpur. So it was a deaf project, a deaf poetry project, sign language poetry, um, consisting of a lot of activities uh, involving deaf um, poets and artists. And the, work, um, the project also produced um, uh, a toolkit for teachers uh, to work with deaf students in, term, in terms of um, writing poetry. This one is an online archive for uh, contemporary Vietnamese art. So it's done by a researcher from Hanoi together with UK counterparts from SOAS, uh, from Tate you know, and other places. So this was this is a website. Uh, the third one, this one is like a radio exchange project between UK and Indonesian DJs. So they took turn to um, DJ uh, on each other's stations, and they also produced um, different goods to support the project as well. This one is a comic fest in the Philippines, so um, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. But yeah, that the grant was used to support the festival. This one was um, a performance art project uh, between Thailand and the UK and, and Northern Ireland. This was pretty interesting because usually performance artists can only, I mean, it's happening art, so uh, you would expect to see it live um, with your own eyes in person. But because of COVID, this uh, had to be done um, through Zoom and it was open um, live to the public, but it was just, you know, on Zoom. And um, there were performance artists involved in the project, um, enabling uh, exchanges between the two country artists. Um, yeah, so that's it for the presentation, and now it's time for questions. Anything, any, any, any questions from anyone here? I think the other, yeah, apart from you, Darren, the other three attendees attended the previous session. <laughs> so they, they, they've seen the presentation already. But if you have anything, just um, ask me now. No, or, um, can, shall I talk to you? Or yeah, yeah, I, yeah, or yeah, I, yeah. Just, just talk to me. That's okay. fine. Great. Yes. No, that's fantastic. It makes a lot of sense to me. Um, I am, uh, I am in Thailand at the moment, um, but I'm based in the UK. And um, the person who approached me um, is is in Thailand, is in Bangkok, and um, uh, I'm going to immigration tomorrow to extend my. Um, my stay and uh you know i i, I suppose it yes it, i just um <clears throat> put in the application with them by the 23rd um and see we, we were talking about many things um the other day so uh if we were bringing uh if we were bringing more people from the uk then um i guess things like travel and um accommodation would could be could be requested. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, uh, those will be part of the grant. You know, you you can use the grant to support accommodation and travel. Mm. Um, but perhaps eight thousand pounds not going to cover everything. So if yeah. your project is larger than that in yeah in scope, then you perhaps need additional funding from elsewhere. Yeah. I don't think it is. I think actually it's very it's very good because um. If if we were successful, we'd know by the twenty first of November. So I'm already here. So I would just um, I would just continue to stay here, and then that would ah, okay, yes. You see, that wouldn't be a cost. Um, right. And, and um, I suppose this is a strange question, but one option that I have because I've just become fifty years old, so I can apply for what's called the um, retirement visa. I see. So I wonder whether would would that um. Would, can you would that have any issue at all relating to this? Um, it, I think um, well, if you are 
still paying tax to the UK government. Yes, I and am. you have a permanent residence in the UK, then you can apply. Yeah. Yes. OK, well, it sounds very it sounds absolutely perfect and uh, has come just at the right time. <laughs> um, Great. I, it does. It just seems that we've got, um, you know, a very busy 10 days to uh, to 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 put it all into into the proper form. Um, mm -hmm. But um, Gaspard has, has got a very, very strong idea and uh, it was like we fitted together perfectly. We've only we were put together by somebody else who suggested that and um, yeah, so uh, I, I will talk to Gaspard more. And um, as you say, I think I took a I took a screenshot of the thing you said where it explains the project much more fully. Um, which uh, where are you? Where has it gone now? <laughs> <laughs> so this we, one so right. says the reading through the notes for applicants. So um, we find that on your website. Yes, correct. Yeah, the CTC website. Um, I can. That, can you? Send I, I'll, I'll I'll post a link in the chat right yeah. now. Yeah. Great. Um, okay. Right. This one is the the notes for applicants, and um. Okay. So if I copy that, hang on. Yes. And then this one is the website, um, which has everything you need to know about this grant program. Okay. Now wait a minute. I've got to do something to get the uh, computer. Uh, wait a minute. There we are. Is it? Okay. Uh, so wait a minute now, where have I gone? <laughs> Lost you now somewhere. I, I can also send this um, to you by email. I've got your email address. OK, hang on, I think I might have got it. I'm just I'm just saying I've got that one. Here we are. So I'll just copy that because I think when you I think when you turn it off, it disappears, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. yes. Are oh, you in the chat box? Yes, you, you need to open it again. Oh, OK. Oh, now I can't find you. You've disappeared from my screen. Eh? <laughs> I can hear you. Oh, no. What happened? Oh, no, it's all right. I just opened documents that were. Yes, yes. Yeah, I can. I, I'll, I'll share the link with you by email as well, just to make sure that you've got everything. OK, great. Fantastic. Great. OK. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, I, I don't think the other three people have more questions. Or do you? Could Alon Kod, Ajahn Alice, Kun Sivakorn, me, Anything else? Uh, actually, yes. Uh, yes, please. Uh, may, may, may ask uh, whether it, there's a, a quota of the successful applicant, uh. a number, <laughs> or uh, and perhaps if you can share the uh, success rate of the last year, right. how many applicants and how many were successful. OK, uh, in fact, we don't have a quota um, because this is based on on the scores that each uh, application gets um, from time to time. You know that there, there are because this is open to Southeast Asia to the four participating countries I mentioned. Sometimes some country don't have any successful candidates because oh, of the quality okay. of the application. Um, but for Thailand, we have had um, successful candidates every year. In fact, Ajahn Alice, who's here with us, um, is one of the <laughs> was one of the first uh, batch of grantees um, and um, actually we um, last year for example we received about uh, 20 applications and we were able to award six um, so four for the full grant uh, for the eight thousand pound grants and um, two for alumni grants and then the previous year I think the number were the number was pretty much the same um, I think each year, yeah, no less than four, uh, four to six. Thank you very much. เจค่ะรู้สึกปัญหาใหญ่ของน้องๆตอนนี้คือเค้าจะหาทันไหมเอ๊ะจะต้องพูดภาษาอังกฤษใช่มั้ย
the UK host, the, the UK partner, because uh, they I, I just introduced uh, some people for the Thai section before, and uh, I, I hope to help them to look in the uh, internet about the UK partner right now. But wow. the main problem is only 10 days left. It depends yeah. on it's, if- it's, yeah. yeah, it's a bit difficult, but in yeah. reality, mm -hmm. um, if you, mm, yeah. It, it, mind. It, yeah, it, uh -huh. I but I was just going to say that um, the application mm -hmm. form is not too detailed. I mean, I mean, you know, you you don't um what we need from a counterpart is a letter of support, um, you know, confirming that if this project happens, um, yeah, the two counterparts will work together, and in I mean, many times I totally understand that you cannot really go into too much detail without knowing whether the project will be successful or not, right? Mm -hmm. So um, in that sense, I mean, some sort of letter of interest, you know, letter just, just for the UK counterpart to say that, okay, this is a great idea and we want to collaborate if this is successful. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in most cases, um, I think that's that's pretty sufficient, mm -hmm. uh, provided that the the application, the proposal itself is strong. Uh, could you please give some idea about the the concrete output you really expect? I mean, from the British Council that you really want to see, because uh, uh -huh. otherwise, if they just got to know some people there and they they uh, they just go to UK visit some place and learn something from what they, they really want to learn and how to say exchange some idea together. Would it be possible that way? Yes, yes, certainly. I think they just need to um to see which grant would suit their purpose. Mm -hmm. I think the eight thousand pound grant is more more for people who are more kind of established and uh, people who know exactly what they want to do, what they want to achieve, you know, maybe already have UK partners in place. Oh. Um, but mm -hmm. if they are um, artists who just want to scope what they can do, you know, they they want they are in the research phase. Um, mm -hmm. In fact, there was earlier a writer who asked me, mm -hmm. um, she said that she wants to go to the UK just to see whether there's an opportunity to um, organize a literary festival in the UK, like mm -hmm. a Thai UK festival. Mm -hmm. um, I think that reason is enough, you know, um, to apply for the £2,000 grant, because mm -hmm. that will already support her to fulfill the purpose of her trip. Um, mm -hmm. And she only needs some confirmations from people that she plans to visit. So mm. let's say she may want to um, to, to visit some major publishing companies, maybe she mm -hmm. wants to, you know, talk to someone at certain museums. Mm -hmm. She only needs to approach them and say, okay, um, this is what I want to do. You know, I just want some like to do some mm -hmm. scoping visits. Mm -hmm. And and that's it. If if the part if the, the those people say, okay, fine, come, you know, we'll, we'll give you information. Mm. That's fine already. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I try to help them because I just introduced them to this program and I really want to encourage them to come to join the British Council in some aspect, you know. That, so, that's so. another another interesting example, I think, mm -hmm. which was um, more of an art science collaboration be mm. between um, Thai, a Thai researcher and a UK researcher. Um, so the 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 it it then this one actually got the the big grant. So the purpose was to um, look at um, developing design ideas from mold. You know, ah, yeah. fungus. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I remember him. yes, yes. Yeah. And to be honest, the project wasn't successful. The project mm. failed mm -hmm. because the uh, because the Thai the Thai applicant uh, the Thai grantee wasn't able to find a similar kind of mold uh, that yeah. that grew in that grows in Thailand. And mm. you know, a lot of things happen in the lab, but it wasn't uh, a successful attempt but still it, it was it was okay because the purpose of the the grant was to encourage uh the exchange and collaboration and those already happened in in process you know we don't expect 
to have um, like a 300 page uh, dissertation coming out <laughs> of this is is just you know and it's just to enable people to talk together to work together yeah the guy who just asked you the that he said he he is a chemist that one is the one i introduced you as oh, well I see. right yeah right, right. and yes. his work is very interesting he uh, now he is doing kind of postdoc at jula Lugod university uh-huh Oh, well, I, I try to help them anyway to look right. something to look for something in the internet. But anyway, just in case, maybe we might need some help from British Council. As sure, well. sure, sure. Yes, as I mentioned, we could right. um, provide like a referral email. Right. Um, you know, if because we we've done that before actually. Um, mm -hmm, yes. If like for example, a person wants to go to this festival, but mm -hmm. if you email that. Uh, the festival as a person, as an individual, maybe they're not going to reply. So oh, the British oh, oh. Council can actually support by like sending an email to say that this person's ah, interested okay. to apply for this grant and would like to connect with you. Yeah, yeah. that's 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 fine. Yeah. Oh, super. Okay, I, I I will tell both of them because I introduced two people today. Uh, one is the artist for puppetry, Nivet. Uh, he also concerned about that he doesn't know anyone in UK right now for this kind of thing that he is working. And then uh, for Lanjagon also. But anyway, I, I try to help them and I might ask them to contact you as well. Okay, sure. No problem at all. <laughs> okay, good. Welcome. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, I like this program, frankly speaking. That's why I try to introduce these people to come to you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You've been a good promoter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank I will you. do my best. Okay. Right, right, right. okay. Uh, mm. Anything else? Kun Siwakon, any questions? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Ha. Right. Okay. So uh, if no further question, I think it's time for our dinner. <laughs> Thank you very much for, for joining the session. And if you have any um yeah, any questions, just email me. Um Darren, you have already got my email address. Yes, 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 yes. And and everyone else too, I think. So yes, please, please feel free to oh, yeah. contact and yeah, looking forward to receiving your applications and good luck. Thank you so much. That's very informative, very helpful. Ah, thank, thank you, you so, so much. Okay. <laughs> Have a lovely evening. Yeah, you too. Right. Thank you. Ah, bye bye. Thank you. Bye thank bye. Thank you bye. so much. Ah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.